Hey everybody, it's David Pingree with Upshift Online. We're out here today with our Honda Africa Twin project bike. Uh, this is an amazing machine right off the showroom floor, uh, but it certainly leaves a lot of room for aggressive riders, those looking to really put some miles on this thing, get off in the dirt. Uh, there's some room for improvement and some, some ways to really make this a, a much more capable bike. Um, the suspension can be a little bit soft for you. Uh, tires are obviously a street version, so you can go to a more uh, aggressive version that's on and off-road capable. Uh, so a lot of things we can do to this to turn it into an incredible machine. The first thing we did to really make this thing an off-road weapon is to go to the, a change in tires. Obviously the stock street tires are not going to do you well anytime you're off-road. So we went to the Shinko 804 and 805, and those are a great combination. They'll still work on the street, but they, they do a great job in the dirt as well, and you kind of conditions or terrain you may come across. Uh, so that's a really good start. And we mounted those up uh, to some W wheels uh, with Excel rims, a really solid rim package. You can plow into stuff and these things will stay true. Uh, great, great wheel set from those guys. We also went to an Acropovic exhaust system and this thing kind of livens the motor up, gives you a little bit more exciting power, also cuts some weight off, uh, makes the thing sound a little nastier. So uh, a really cool product from those guys. And then the other really key component is the suspension. The Africa Twin comes pretty soft uh, in the stock settings, and if you're just cruising around town, it's totally fine. But again, once you're getting off-road and you start getting a little more aggressive with seeing, you're gonna want it to be firmed up a little bit. So Racetech went in, they gave us a little bit stiffer spring setting and a little bit more aggressive valving package. So we can now uh, push this thing a little bit and uh, it'll, it'll stay with us underneath there and, and not be a little too soft. So uh, we'll get back with you some, with some feedback on that. We also mounted some flex handlebars. Now, if you're spending a lot of time on these bikes, which you may have a tendency to do, uh, these are a great addition. They absorb shock and vibration and isolate your upper body from abuse, uh, which lets you go longer and at a faster pace with more control. It also keeps your hands from uh, tingling and going numb if that's an issue for you. The, the rear bags on this thing are really cool. It's a Kriga OS32 Overlander system. The, the panniers make qu mounting quick and uh, dismounting really easy. Only takes a minute or so with these quick release straps and buckles. Uh, plus you can add Krieger's other OS system bags that come in many sizes. They're built using materials like ultra abrasion resistant Hypalon, Cordura, and Kevlar, so they're super durable. Our foot pegs are made by Fastway. They're the Pro Moto Billet pegs, and it gives you a much larger platform and better grip than the stock peg. On these bikes, you know, you tend to stand up a lot, especially off-road, and having a bigger platform just makes it uh, a lot more comfortable, gives you more control of the bike, and obviously if, if you get into any kind of wet conditions, the extra grip's gonna help keep your foot planted. We have double take adventure mirrors, which are uh, foldable and they're also removable if you don't want them, but those are a really cool addition. The seat concepts foam and cover are a really cool addition as well. This is a much more comfortable seat than what comes stock. So anytime you're on the road and putting miles in, uh, this, this uh, seat just makes it a much more comfortable ride. You can go a lot longer without having any, any uncomfortable issues. The lights are another really big addition on this bike. It's a Cyclops Pegasus light system. Uh, it's a complete kit and incredibly bright system that mounts right onto here super easy. So anytime you're doing any kind of night riding, uh, these things are a must. Another great addition is our skid plate. It's an Outback Motortech skid plate crash bar combo. And this thing gives you complete crash protection. You could literally just tip the bike over and it'll protect all of the engine components and everything on the side of the bike. And the skid plate, uh, whether it's rocks, roots, whatever you may be going over, uh, your exhaust system is really exposed under there. So this is a, uh, an awesome product that will protect your bike and, uh, and keep, you, keep you riding. Uh, the tank bag was from Moscow Moto. And uh, these guys, it's tough to find a really good tank bag, and these guys do a great job. Uh, it, it's easy to use. It mounts onto most adventure bikes. It also comes with a hydration system you can clip into here and a whole bunch of different mollies you can clip things on, different uh, compartments. So really versatile, uh, mounts right up, really clean, great product. The graphics kit on our Africa Twin is actually an upshift in-house design. Uh, so we had this thing built and designed and uh, uh, just custom for this bike. And keep an eye at the upshift online website, we'll be selling this thing down the road. Well, as you can see, we, we put a lot of love into this thing. I think we've put together a really cool bike. So now it's time to fire it up and let's go get this thing dirty.
All right, guys, we're done uh, putting some laps and miles and uh, trails on this thing, and it's been a lot of fun uh, and a lot of learning for us. You know, a couple things. We'll start with the exhaust. Definitely a little bit more performance out of this um, Acropovic exhaust. Definitely a better sound. It's, it's really throaty. Not obnoxious, but uh, a, much, a much more aggressive sound, which I really like. Uh, I love the bars. These uh, flex bars, you can actually just stand here and push on them and see the things moving. They just give you a really comfortable ride, especially if you were in little chattery bumps or rough road. <clears throat> Super nice. Um, and I tested out the crash bars today. So uh, a couple of things. The, these crash bars worked great. Didn't scuff a thing on the bike. Um, those things totally protected it. And also I wanted to mention these wraparound um, uh, hand protectors here. They'll come with a plastic one, but, but they flex. And they're okay, but they, you can still break levers and things with them. These are all um, much more sturdy, do a great job for us. So uh, those were a big improvement. Uh, the suspension is definitely much, much more aggressive. So uh, we were able to get through some, some whooped out rollers today, uh, a little chatter and bumps and not feel like it was so plush, it was just blowing through. Uh, and yet on the road, it still, still rides fine. It's not um, harsh or, or giving you too much feedback. So a really good job from the race tech guys going through this. They did an awesome job. Uh, I want to mention the wheels again. So W put together these wheels with a Talon hub and Excel rims, and that's really the gold standard. Um, you, they're incredibly strong and um, they look amazing. Man, matched up to those Shinko tires, really good uh, combination. So uh, thanks to those guys, that worked great. There was some things we learned here. Uh, when you get off-road, make sure you go to the Sport 3 mode. Um, it, just, it just helps with the way the thing shifts and at the RPMs at which it shifts. Uh, I liked the traction control off, which uh, there's a button here for traction control. You got to hit it twice and then hold it in. Uh, that'll get rid of that. <clears throat> if that can, be, that can be a really cool feature in certain conditions, maybe really slimy, slick trails where you're trying to just inch along them. But if you're out here in the dirt and actually wanting the, wanting the throttle to affect the back tire right as you turn it, you got to take that off. Uh, that was what I preferred anyway. And then I also got rid of the analog brake system. For me, I just I would rather modulate it with my foot in the dirt. Um, that's a great feature on the road or at certain times again. But for me, that's something I would recommend playing with when you get these things in the dirt is, is just uh, hit that button and pop that off. We also have a, a, a gravel button here, which is for more of an off-road setting. Again, we applied that. So there's lots of bells and whistles on this thing to really customize it for the dirt and, and, and your riding style, which you prefer. So um, play with those buttons, get used to those. Uh, we had an, an awesome time on this thing. It's, it's an amazing all-around bike. Oh, another thing I want to mention. <clears throat> so these bags, there are options to have hard cases. Uh, but one thing I really liked about these, uh, and when I fell over, I didn't get my leg caught in there, but that's something you, you should consider because when you're tipping over, your first uh, uh, inclination is to put your foot out. And if it, if it happens to get caught under here, uh, metal cases could, could be tough on your leg where these will at least give a little bit. So... Uh, because of that, I really like these. I like the soft cases. Uh, just a little safer for me and uh, more compliant. They stay mounted on there. There's no way those are coming off. So um, really stoked with these bags. Everything on here. Awesome bike. Uh, thanks to Honda. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks to all the companies that were involved. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next build.